So what do you do with an old piano that is absolutely beautiful? You've had it in for years in the family home, but nobody wants a piano anymore. Moving it to a rental property we didn't think was the best thing to do. Um, the kids have moved out, so they aren't playing it anymore. And uh, I rang up the place where we bought it from, and the guy just explained there that just nobody wants pianos anymore. They're not fashionable. Uh, people don't want them in their houses as a piece of furniture. Um, we tended to sort of, in the end, store things on top of it. But it is beautiful, and we've had it for years. And we bought it for the family and the girls to learn to play on. And it was, it has been just a really lovely piece. So apparently you can't even give them away. Apparently um, people just smash them up and just get rid of them in the end. Um, so we decided that we were going to move that beautiful piano with us. We couldn't bear just to take it to the dump. Um, we had the man in the van. He said he would help us move it. Um, so we did. So we got um, a few family members over as well and we did move it into our rental accommodation and boy, doesn't it look good. And now for the mega cleanup. Well, I've just been back to the old house. Um, we left a few days ago now, and I've just been taking a little bit of a break, but then realized we'd left a few bits of the charity stuff in their drive. So I've had to take the roof down. Looks like it could rain, but I'm loaded up with just the last bits. Um, so I'm gonna have to deal with those soon. I'm, I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do with those, but I'll take a look. Um, there's a lot to do at the new house. It is exciting though, this is a good, uh, a good thing that I'm going to be doing next and this is where I would like your interaction and help I know I've got to watch some of these I don't know even know what her name is Marie Kondo or something like that I don't know I uh, haven't heard much about it all I know is that I might need her and her system in my life perhaps I don't know what you think um, but I will keep you um, informed throughout the day what I'm going to be doing um, just making a start uh, with the new place and almost it feels like my new life so all very exciting. So try and think about where everything should go. Everything should have a place and every place should have a thing. That isn't Marie Kondo, whatever her name is, but that's what one thing I know for sure. And this is all a bit of a mess, isn't it? We've got a mishmash of things. We've got cleaning products, we've got baking, we've got animal accessories and bits and bobs. We've got car cleaning, we've got baking, uh, we've got soup makers. It's everything's just, it needs a theme, I think, and we've now cleared under the stairs. So we're thinking of perhaps putting all the cleaning stuff in there um, and then all the extension of the kitchen because the kitchen is literally just here. So that's the kitchen. And this is the cupboard that's very near to it. So we might have an extension of that and make the other one a DIY and house and cleaning cupboard. Hmm. Brilliant, so look, this is our understairs cupboard. 
and we do have quite a bit of space. We've got a light and we have got um, sort of um, household things for painting and decorating and then we've got this nice little um, bookshelf that I got from my dad's house that I'd put away, not thinking I'd need it. Um, that's more sort of like um, toolkits and leftover carpet from the from the owners, but we thought we'd fill this up with sort of household things. I think that actually could be a very good idea. So along here, we've still got more to put away. We've got more baking things, ingredients it looks like, and just miscellaneous. We've got another, um, we've got a steam cleaner there. Loads of different bits and bobs. So it's just sorting all of this out now into those two cupboards. Um, I think a lot of this is empty boxes and storage, but this is what happened when we moved um, from one house to the next is that things just got dumped like any house move to be honest it all just got completely dumped in the kitchen and now is the time um, I can actually get sorting it all out but we do have a bit more space so I'm feeling quite good about that whether it'll all fit in or not I don't know uh, but we do need to sort it all out um, at the same time so I'm not just storing a load of rubbish oh my goodness look at it all it's all gonna get in, I promise you. So basically doing very well you tend to sort of clear stuff out of one area but you just tend to move it to a different place don't you really so uh, my entrance hall now to take everything up to the stair up the stairs is a mess uh, but as you've seen from the videos we've got some nice clear areas that's quite organized now and this whole area is looking cool and nice too. Uh, I've still got the kitchen to do, uh, which I'm going to do a little bit later. Uh, I called this lovely lady Doris from Gavin and Stacey. Hey Doris! Anyway, not very good. Um, and then we've got, here we go, oh we've got Olive. And a little feeding kitten. She's a bit cheeky still to be feeding. But she's not going to her new home quite yet. So why wouldn't you if you're with mum? Anyway, from here, yes, we've got more boxes to put away. More things at the bottom of the stairs. But we're gonna take we're gonna take them upstairs in a minute and see where we can move them to.